Hi, welcome to this tutorial on embedding timelines in Omeka. We're going to be using timelines in simple pages. We'll talk about that in a second. This tutorial is brought to you by Student Research here at CSU Channel Islands. So what is a simple page? Simple Pages is a plugin for Omeka. You'll have to install the plugin before you can do the work that I'm about to describe for you. If you don't know how to install a plugin, uh, we have another tutorial elsewhere uh, under the Omeka resources where you can learn how to install a plugin. What Simple Pages allows you to do is just simply create a page within your Omeka site. So the first thing you're going to do is create a simple page by clicking on Simple Pages over there on the left and then clicking on Add a Page. And this is going to allow you to create a new page within your Omeka site. So you're going to want to give your page a title and a slug. So a title is what you want the title of the page to be. So for instance, Sean Kelly's timeline. A slug is a permanent name for the page within the navigation structure of the site. So this has to be all letters together. And so I chose when I was working on this SQKTL uh, for timeline. Under the, in the box uh, down here that I've circled in red, you're going to say that you want to use the HTML editor. So just click that box right there. You're going to have to edit a little bit of HTML code. Really, it's just copying and pasting more than anything else. So don't be afraid. So what you'll do, you've already created your timeline over in Timeline.js. If you don't know how to do that, we have a tutorial elsewhere that will guide you through that process. And here's where the embed code comes in handy. The Timeline.js program creates this embed code for you. You don't have to write it. You simply have to open up the HTML editor. That's why you clicked that box a step or so ago. Open up the HTML editor and paste the embed code into that screen and then click update. So what it'll look like is it'll just look yellow here. You won't really see anything. There'll just be this yellow box. So you're going to want to click on save changes and make sure that you have clicked the publish this page uh, box. Once you've done that, go to the page using the slug that you created, and you should see something like this. So this is a timeline that uh, some students and I have created for a website that we're working on, uh, and it will be embedded right in there, and it will look beautiful. Thanks for taking the time to learn how to embed a timeline into your Omeka website. 